Would you like to be able to make videos that look like this? Keep watching and find out how. What's up guys, my name is Buckling1 and today I'm going to be showing you how to record and render videos using Sony Vegas Pro 13. Now before I get into the video I just want to put out a little quick disclaimer that these are the methods um, and the settings that I'll use for my videos personally. I'm not saying that they're the right way to do things or that they're the best way to do things but I find that for me they're the best way that, that I can do my videos. Um, so yeah, before we get into it as well, obviously you're going to need some kind of hardware device to capture your actual footage. Me personally, I'll use the, the HD PVR2, um, which I think is, is fantastic, but whatever software or hardware you use with the software to record, that's just fine, as long as you can get the video into Vegas. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, first and foremost, what you, what you want to do is you'll want to open up a new project with this you can see here this is kind of the general settings for the project um, and these are really really important um, obviously up here in the top is kind of say your resolution your frame rate all this kind of other confusion stuff I'll go through that in a little bit and then some other further stuff down here so the first things first is you'll want to be putting out 1080p videos. I mean, 720 just doesn't cut it anymore. We have 1080 now, um, even 4K, but 4K is you'd want a supercomputer to, to to put out in 4K. But 1080 is fine. Um, and make sure as well if you have the option for if you can record at 60 FPS, all well and good. But just make sure that you do actually click this little thing here for 60 fps don't worry that it says 59.94 it is actually 60 fps um, if you can't record in 60 30 will do fine for the time being me i'm actually able to record in, in 60 fps so this is what i'm going to use and again obviously 1920 by 1080 is 1080p feel order i always select, set it to none progressive scan um, that's just my personal preference as far as I know um, It kind of makes the video a little bit smoother um, But again, I could be completely wrong, but just through doing a little bit of experimenting and stuff like that I found that the videos do come out a little bit better when you put non-progressive scan on Pixel aspect ratio you can just leave it as it is. It's fine Output rotation don't bother change it because it'll just mess up the video um, stereoscopic 3D mode, you don't need it. Um, I don't know why anyone wants to record in 3D, but anyway. Pixel format, leave it as it is, it's absolutely fine. Um, obviously you can't really change these. Full resolution rendering quality, always make sure you have this at best. Motion blur type, you have a few here, I just leave it as Gaussian, it's fine. It, it doesn't really matter. Deinterlace method. You can leave that as none. I don't see any point in changing it. Um, it's absolutely fine the way it is. I'm not really sure what it does. If someone does know what it does, please let me know. But I've had no problems just leaving it as none. Um, and then again, if you want to adjust your source media, so basically what this means is when you actually dump a video into Vegas, it'll automatically adjust the, the video that you put in to match the settings that you have selected here so I like to tick that because just to make sure that um, everything kind of comes in to Vegas with these already set up this is obviously where the default the, the videos go um, and then you can select start all new projects with this these settings that's what I like to kind of do as well um, what you want to do then as well is you want to make sure this is where you save the template I'll come back to this in a minute because I want to go through these as well but obviously you can rename this here um, and then you just press the little save thing and then that will be it'll always save it to whatever you name it as audio you don't really need to mess around with it too much 
and um, just make sure that this is set to 48,000 or 48 kilohertz I think um, there's a lot of options here but 48 is just fine you don't need too much more for audio bit depth I just leave it at 16 resample and stretch quality it's fine it's good there's no need to change it to anything else because at the end of the day we're making videos audio I know is important but it's not as important as the video and you're only going to be added to your file size by increasing kind of the audio settings which you don't really want ruler um, I don't really use that at all summary is just kind of you can just stick stuff in there but there's no point audio CD again nothing it doesn't mean anything so with the template I'll just save it here just call it say YouTube press save and now if you go down here see I've already kind of made a couple of pre-made ones um, but yeah this it has a save here now so this is the one that will be using all the time so now you just go ahead click OK so now we're in Vegas um, obviously you can tell it's blank we don't actually have anything in here so let's go ahead and dump in some video okay so now we have our video actually in Vegas it's time to edit the video um, and this is kind of where personal preference will come in um, you can do kind of things like your fades and stuff like that I'll kind of go into that a little bit more detail in a little while the first thing you need to always make sure you do though when you dump a video into Vegas is always right click on the video track here you press properties and it's very very important to make sure you, you press disable resample basically what this does is it the the smart resample or the resampling kind of makes the video a little bit blurry um, to try and make it a little bit smoother but for gameplay videos it doesn't really work that well so you just disable it and it'll just make things look crystal clear so you can see here you have your video tab your audio tab and that's all well and good um, and you see look we go through it um, and we'll just scrub through and yeah really really cool so the next part is kind of again down to personal preference you can chop up your video kind of whatever way you want to do it put in whatever kind of effects you want to do and um, all that kind of stuff I'm not really gonna go a whole lot into that because there's just so much to it I may revisit again maybe at a later date but just for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna show you how to to render once you have the final video done the audio I kind of like to turn it down just a little bit because sometimes it can be a bit too loud um, especially when you are trying to kind of speak over it as well so that's fine just turn it down maybe around six decibels that kind of works the most for me so that loop that's fine um, a couple of things I like to do as well is first of all just tighten up the crop a little bit um, basically what you do with this is you can see the way here that this is like literally set to exactly on the border now sometimes this can cause a little bit of, of kind of problems because you may kind of get black borders so just to make sure that I don't I have a preset here but basically all you do is you just kind of you drag it in just a tiny bit so that there's the it's not actually on the edge um, and basically what that does is it just makes sure that you don't get any of those black bars so I have that set there's my crop you can see here it doesn't really affect the video too much you, everything's still very very clear um, but it just makes sure that we don't get any of those black black borders now I'm just going to scrub through the video here as well just to kind of show you actually what I'll do is I'll make sure that this is set to best because we want to be able to see in our preview window here as well we want to be able to see the video at the best quality you can adjust the settings here but you can see look it makes it look awful so you always want to make sure that you have it set to best here you can see the information on your video as well um, so you can see here it's 1080p recorded at 60 frames per second absolutely fine that's brilliant um, and then this is just the the actual frame that you're on and see if I, if I adjust that through it'll change the frame all well and good 
Another thing that I like to do as well is just kind of sh touch up the, the colours a little bit. Now, the colours in Battlefield 4 look absolutely incredible, but you can make them just look a little bit better. What I like to kind of do here is just go into your colour curves. And we'll just add that. Whoops, already have it added. Remove, OK. So you see here, if I was to change this, I'll just move this out of the way a little bit. So if I change this, you see that it affects the way that the color is, is shown. Obviously, down lower is darker, up higher is brighter. And ooh, my video is going funny because I have flux installed. So I'll just get rid of that weirdness on the screen. So yeah, so kind of I have my own preset again, but this is kind of you know personal preference whatever works for you but basically kind of what I like to do is just kind of level it out a little bit and basically the way you do that is you just take this here you, know, you take this one here and you just drag that down to the bottom like this and you just kind of drag it in a little bit but make sure it's it's just just in line with the actual bottom line here and then again you just take this one and you do the same at the top and you just drag it in a little bit and what that does is it just kind of smooths out the color in the actual video because sometimes the color can be harsh and sometimes it can be a little bit washed out so you just want to make sure that you have a nice even balance in your color again personal preference if you find another better way of doing it do let me know in the comments down below so that's our video all prepped. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shorten it a little bit because it's way, way, way too long. So I'll just have it there about, what, 50, just under a minute. See, so yeah, literally just a minute. So that's my little minute long clip. Um, now, this is kind of the nuts and bolts of everything. What we want to do now is we want to render it out, obviously, to get to the video, to get the video onto the hard drive to be able to upload it to YouTube. So what I like to do is this, I look, just drag this kind of little yellow guy out and bring it right to the end of the video. So that means you have your loop, this is your loop, this is all set up. Um, click this little guy down here, bring your video right back to the start. Then you go to File, Render As. And once this decides to load, I'll show you how it works. Sorry. So yeah, so here you can see I have my favorite setup. I have a couple of other things as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be kind of showing you how to do it. Now, you can see here that we have a load of kind of different things. So you have AVC, XAVC, main concept AVC, MPEG-1, MPEG-2, QuickTime 7, lovely, lovely. I personally like to use main concept AVC. I think it's pretty much for me it's the the best one for file size as well as quality. It's a good kind of mix of both. I'll just click into my actual main template here and I'll show you exactly what what I have set but obviously what you want to do is you want to set it to 1080p. So don't even worry about the tablet. What I generally start with is the internet internet 1080p so you can just customize template like this and I'll show you kind of all the settings here so I'll go through these now in my actual customized template so you can see it looks exactly the same as the other one before but it is kind of just changed slightly so frame size again 1080p um, not one it's not hdv it's hd make sure it's on hd 1920 by 1080 is 1080p and um, make sure you don't have this clicked you want to make sure that um the frame size is is what you have set it to profile the main that's fine frame rate again you can adjust it to whatever you want if you don't see 60 here um, don't worry you can just type it in it should if you have it set though at the start in the project settings this should come up automatically um, and again you want to take this off because you want it to render at this frame rate that you have here again field order just leave it as none pixel aspect ratio fine number of reference frames don't even change it 
Um, now, when you come into the main concept, Internet 1080p, it'll have it set to constant, but I don't like to use that. I like to use a variable bitrate. So basically, kind of what this does is that it gives it your bits per second. So it can kind of up and down. It, it, it kind of automates it to match kind of what's on the screen at the moment. So it kind of it's 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 hard to explain but it, it kind of just makes it look that little bit better so to be honest this is probably like a little bit overkill but these are the settings i use and they work for me so that's absolutely fine and um, 28 million here and 10 million you, i mean you could probably get away with a lot less than 28 million but that's kind of the setting i use um, and also as well make sure you untick two pass because Literally what it does is it renders the video and then it, it doubles back and renders it again. So it just doubles the render time, which is something that you just don't want whatsoever. Um, and again, with your encode mode, this will probably be set to render using CPU only. If you actually have an, an NVIDIA graphics card that has CUDA in it, you can actually render using the graphics card, which does speed up the render times one caveat with this though is it can kind of make vegas a little bit temperamental and my vegas has crashed a few times while while rendering but it's something that i kind of bear with because it does really really speed up the actual render times um enable pr progressive download i leave it ticked because to be honest i don't really know what it does so again audio sample rate 48 kilohertz bit rate bits per second 192 and um, that's all just pretty much standard just leave it at that it's a, it's fine you don't need to change anything system again here this is kind of if I check my GPU I have CUDA on my GPU so I can use it and then project again video render, rendering quality set to best stereoscopic 3d doesn't matter color space doesn't matter you press ok so you can see here Oh, I just forgot as well, in here this is where you type in whatever name you want to use and it'll use that name and you'll be able to save it and then just make sure you click this little guy here and this will add it to your favourites and then you'll always be able to find it then the next time you want to go and render. So that's fine. Here then is where you want to see where you're actually going to put the video. So it's set to my desktop at the moment, I just find it as handy but again you can just press browse and it'll bring you to kind of all your little folders and you can pick whichever folder you want to render into and here is kind of where you put your actual file name so i'll just change that to battlefield whoops i can't spell battlefield so yeah we're all set up we're all ready to go lovely and then you just click the render button Okay guys, so you can see here the render is fully complete, it took a little bit longer than what I predicted, it was 3 minutes 23 seconds to render a 1 minute video. Um, so again, it's not too bad but just do bear this in mind that if you are kind of making videos that are 10-15 minutes long, it will take you a little bit of time to actually get the, the fully rendered video. But again, there's other things that you can do while the, the, the video is rendering. The one kind of piece of advice I can give you is just do keep an eye on Vegas while it's rendering and try not to use the computer while you are rendering because it, it can make Vegas crash, which is really annoying if you're like a half an hour into a, a, a one and a half hour render or if you're 15 minutes into a half hour render. It's, it's just, it's really annoying and it's a waste of time. So probably best just to kind of leave it do its thing and come back to it afterwards anyway so I'll close this and I'll just pull up the actual video that came out of Vegas so this is it here and what I'll do is I'll just open it with VLC media player okay so this is what the video looks like here it's all set up in VLC I'll just press play and just kind of let it go for a little bit well as you can see this is my recording of some Battlefield 4 gameplay and this is the final output. Now yours may differ depending on what settings you use but again these are the settings that I use for my own recording. So there you go guys, 
Um, if you if you like this video or if you found it in any way helpful, please do give just a little thumbs up um, and even subscribe to me. It really does help me out. Also, um, leave some suggestions in the comment box below. I mean, if if you'd like to see kind of more of this kind of stuff from me, um, do leave a suggestion on kind of what what videos you'd like to see. Maybe you'd like to see me do some kind of more in depth on how to edit videos. I'd be happy to do that if if that's what people would like to see. Again as well, also make sure that you leave a comment if any of the settings that you use might be maybe a little bit different or, or if you think that there is a better way of doing things that I don't personally know about. Um, but all in all, just make sure you do leave a like or a comment and thanks for watching.